today we are heading into the wilds of the Magic Kingdom, straight to the one and only restaurant that keeps the adventure rolling even after you hop off the ride, the Jungle Navigation Company LTD <laughs> Skipper Canteen. This spot is not just about food. It's where the spirit of the Jungle Cruise ride follows you right into the dining room. Your skipper doesn't just entertain you on the river. They deliver a deliciously quirky meal, full of fun and, of course, fantastic flavor. We have this table, which I love this table because you get great light, a little stained glass. First time I ever yeah. came here, this is where I sat. Nice. Yeah, it's nice. This exact table or just the one? One side? more over, but yeah, like on this wall, it's nice. is the sunset margarita using the Terramana Blanco tequila inspired from... Inspired by the rock. I love it. She said that is inspired by the rock. A time when he was a skipper in the Jungle Cruise movie. She said it served on the rock, which was fun. Although I will say it is actually served on the rocks. And you got, what was yours called again? It was like uh, the, uh, Something bird, the tropical bird. Some sort of a bird. Yeah, well, the skipper bird. It's going to be right down in the description with all the elements. It's got some rum. And Campari said it's less sweet than the margarita. So yeah, well, my margarita does have um, agave syrup. Yeah, agave syrup. It also has like a spicy bitter to it too. So I was like, you are not like this. But this sounded interesting. It has a Campari in it, so um, it certainly sounds refreshing. It's nice. It's yeah. Refreshing. It's very mild. Like a little bit of pineapple flavor in there. Right. A little bit of bitter, I guess, with the Campari coming in, in at the finish. Got a bit of a little bitter finish. Kind of like the the Boulevardier. Okay, kind of yeah. Campari in it that gives it a little bit of bitter. Yeah, yeah. Taste in it. it kind of has a finish like that. On this humid day, that sounds like the perfect yeah, cocktail. It's a good cocktail. It really does. It's, good. it's hot. It's like but 90. For the if heat you notice that Manny's looking a little um, soaking wet, we just finished writing Tiana, and oh my gosh. <laughs> what a treat. So it was. It was it was absolutely incredible, but you got like eclipsed whole, the whole like water thing for me, except for my it, face. So there's me. Yeah. But nice hot day. Felt good. Incredibly mild. Good though. It is. I don't get the heat. I'm not getting the heat. Like definitely a little leaning too heavy on the agave. So if you're not into the sweet drink, I would skip this one. I mean, that being said, I'm gonna drink it and enjoy it. But it's leaning a little sweet for me. It just sits makes heavy it too sweet. In there. Yeah, so, but I, I really like the, the freshness of it. Like it's got a really good fresh and refreshing taste to it. But yeah, it's too sweet for me. But that's okay. You gotta try it, right? I can get a little bit of everything in here. Really good. I like the idea of this one. Like it's like a Johnny cake. It is. You know? I didn't know what to expect, but it looks exactly like a pancake. It really apparently does. it's corn. Mm. That is, you're gonna want that chimichurri sauce. Oh really? I'm yeah. so excited. It's so good. Yeah. It's very delicate. Very nice. delicate. It's not a big strong pork flavor. It um, kind of blends well with all the different flavors. Sometimes pork does that. It's kind of a mild type meat flavor that blends well with everything. This is a great dish for the big dog. Then what is this? Is it an avocado crema or uh, yes. wine? I mean, look, I like anything, anything with chimichurri. Yeah, you're going to love this. Like I love Spoiler alert. <laughs> and the brightness of that cotija cheese. Tender the pork is very tender. Like it's very delicate. It's really nice because it's such a nice. It doesn't. Um, it's not tough to eat with the pancake, and the corn cake is absolutely delicious. It's not um, heavy at all. I was worried you know, sometimes like you think it's not like when you have like a density to it. It's very light and fluffy. It is. So it let me is. tell you, it's all about that chimichurri. <laughs> Get to choose your temperature on the plate. Yep. 
trying to get a good representation. I went rare, medium rare, so that looks like a nice cook on it. Look at the colors on it, the presentation. You get a little bit of cilantro in here. Try to get a, a bite of everything. It's really beautiful. And, uh, and the smell is amazing. It smells lovely. Wow. See, Skipper Canteen is no joke, right? It's good stuff. It's really good food. He's happy. Look at that face. You are really That is giant. really good. I think that brought a tear in your eye. <laughs> I think it did. I think it did. I just need a moment of silence now. Wow. Got a nice char on it. All the flavors. You didn't really do the sauce everything. that much, did you? Or? I got, there was some sauce on the oh. bottom, but I think a lot of it fell off. That steak is really excellently cooked, tender. You got a nice char on it. You got a decent, decent chew, like they say, but it's not chewy. So as you bite and chew and all the flavors come out of it. But I tell you what, that char, that cook on it, excellent. Thank you. Yours looks prettier than mine, but I do have some little bok choy here. Oh, nice. Um, a nice thing of, you know, basic sticky rice, a little slaw, and then this beautiful pork tenderloin all around here. This is a char siu. So I'm going to kind of grab a little representative from over here in the middle town. Okay, so this, I've had some really good pork. Um, and I've had some really dry pork, <laughs> so I'm really hopeful that this is really good. Mm. It's cut really nice. Mm. This is beautiful. It has a really nice sear on the outside, which is bringing a beautiful smoky flavor. The sauce itself has a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of tanginess. It balances out really nicely. The pork is very tender. It's not dry. It's like a little flavor bomb in your mouth. Really tender and nice too, which is fantastic. Beautiful. I'm really glad of one thing. I'm really glad that they did the pork along the side with the sauce instead, instead of, of the sauce over the rice. Yeah. Because now I get to really enjoy all of that sauce and I don't have to eat so much rice. This this is perfect. I will enjoy all this pork, bok choy. Try some of this. I, I don't even know if it's a slaw. It's like a slaw salad. Oh, oh wow. Oh, oh my. Is that like kimchi? Whoa. That's freaking delicious. Hot. Very spicy. Really good spicy. Oh, wow. Okay. Rewind. <laughs> Thank God I tried that. I thought it was just a dry slop. No, this is like super spicy, delicious, That's delicious. That's a pleasant surprise. Wow, I'm excited to have this and mix it a little bit with my pork. So yeah, this is a really good dish. Really, really like it, especially if you want, um, you know, it's like a little bit of a lighter meat. The chicken dish here is very good, but if I remember correctly, it's pretty heavy. Yeah, well, it's a big fried chicken. It's, it's a, a big, big fried yeah. chicken breast. So one thing I love is that they have Elephant Foot IPA here, and it is such a great IPA. They bring you a lovely glass, so you are set up. This is a win-win-win as far as I'm concerned. Just knowing they have this here in the park. Always, I'm always like, ooh, right over there, Skipper Canteen. They've got that elephant foot IPA. I could pop in. Now, they, they used to have this in Epcot. Yeah. Over in that little, like, African marketplace area yep. uh, in World Showcase. The last time I went by there, they didn't have it. So I'm going to have to check it in and see. So if you guys have seen it there recently, let me know. Because I that was another place where I'd be like, ooh, we can pop in there. Yep. It's a good West Coast style. Like it's, it's got that nice um, hoppy, bitter. Like the dry hop. Yeah. Not, not a citrus hop. No, it's just a great, a great, great IPA. Now you may have heard little whispers about a certain secret menu item, the legendary Brazilian cheese bread. And let me tell you, the hype is real. It's tasty, and yes, it's still available. But this time, we decided to go ahead and stick with the main menu. I'm really glad we did. Every bite was absolutely delicious. And let's be honest, the air conditioning was the real hero of the day. For us, this restaurant is a must do for any foodie out there who craves a unique dining adventure. It's not just a place to eat, it's part of the story. The story that adds to the magic of your Disney vacation. So if you're looking for a memorable meal that'll leave you smiling long after you left, Skipper Canteen is the place to be. We'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you. See you guys. Bye.